But for those who are just tuning in, I want to give a big welcome to our TESPA preseason match. My name is Dan Danner's Banner, and we're going to be going through this entire set here today. We've got ourselves a best of three match. And of course, for St. Clair College, we have Jesse, who looks like he's going to be playing support today. Crypt, who is also subbing in, playing support as well. The Mage and Couch, who are our tanks, and Jub Jub and Walla, who are our DPS specialists for the evening. Then on the side of Miami University of Ohio, Swagathon, we got Thought, John Quando's Soy Boy Skip, and a few more, but. We'll see them momentarily. We got a pharmacy combo coming out from the side of Miami University of Ohio, but St. Clair overall were able to get to the point quicker because of the boost of that Lucio. And that's going to be Jump Jump diving in, going to take out Swagathon real quick. And the, the way this meta seems to have been is whoever's, uh, whoever's Doomfist pops off, whichever one kills the other one first, seems to just roll the following team fight. So Jump Jump able to find that initial kill was absolutely huge for for St. Clair and that definitely swung the fight. They're going to get the first capture onto this point. Present starts ticking up and they have themselves in a pretty pinched off area here. Dimaj just sent up his shield so that they can't even like enter the, the neutral area. They do think about trying to dive in, but it's actually leaving their DPS and support line pretty exposed. That's almost a downed Swagathon, and he, and he does finally go down. It's going to be a Pulse Bomb that's going to eliminate Sham. Wow. Swagathon is going to get revived though from the Mercy Thought. Keeping him alive, but does go down himself. And they're going to duel that out here. The Doomfist, but that's going to be Swagathon taking care of that until Dimage, or Dimage rather, takes down Swagathon to finish off that fight. So it got a little spread out for the later ends of that fight, but overall was rather controlled by St. Clair. They do have two ultimates on deck. And of course, the uh, the Tracer all does charge pretty quickly. That's a lot of damage onto Couch, but he is going to just hang in just barely by a thread. Jub Jub is going to be going in. we got a Meteor Strike coming out from the side of Miami University of Ohio, but it is not going to get to any effect. Everybody on Miami University of Ohio seems to be dropping at this point. And Jub Jub going to clean things up alongside Walla while finishing that off. With 85% on the board right now for St. Clair, if they can essentially keep anybody from uh, from touching, that could be absolutely devastating. He just completely walked by him. Soy Boy did not see him there. And it's going to allow Walla to get the flank. He's not going to opt to use the Pulse Bomb. He's just going to try and gun him down. And I think he might, in fact, be able to do so, slowly but surely. But at the point when Tully on the far is going to pick himself up too. But Walla going to come back onto point and is going to be able to start doing a bunch of damage here. Just a matter of taking care of the Fara does find that. Looks for the Doomfist. Is trying to avoid getting punched in the face, and he is going to be able to do so. Couch cleaning that up. So 100 to 0 in the favor of St. Clair College for that very first part of Oasis. Now, this is definitely a part of Oasis that we've seen St. Clair College struggle on before. I'm curious as to how the Miami University of Ohio feels like tackling this. Pretty much the same uh, hero picks across the board, but both teams are going to be able to at least get onto the point to try and contest this. Wallace got himself a pretty interesting angle, though. He's going to try and jump onto the, 
the support line. Meanwhile, Jub Jub also jumped into essentially everybody and did take down Wintoli, who's on a Sombra, which is the first time we've seen a Sombra in at least a couple games here in Tespa, I think. But between the mage and crypt and Jub Jub just running amok through the entirety of Miami University of Ohio, it is just going <laughs> in all Saints Gaming's favor at this point. St. Clair just doing work at this. And another rather aggressive hold, essentially able to open fire on them as soon as they get out of their spawn point. And we do have a couple of ultimates just about ready here for St. Clair College. And the mage actually takes down Thought right away. Critical healer gone. But Swagathon's going to at least try to trade it back with the kill on Tuwala. We expect the Coalescence to come out here from Jussie. And sure enough, this is the perfect corridor for it. With so much healing and damage, it's going to be Soy Boy going down alongside Sw uh, Swagathon. Getting taken down by Jub Jub. And Jussie's going to get on the board with one more. Taking down ShamWow. 50% on the board right now for St. Clair College. Miami University. I mean, I'm sure they probably got some ultimates on board for this next fight. And they're actually going to try and get cheeky with it. Force people to at least split off. But so far, not taking the bait. Only one or two going back for St. Clair. It's going to be the Meteor Strike right in the center of everybody. I believe that is Swagathon. It's going to get some decent damage. But again, Jub Jub finding thought before this fight really even gets started. But we've got a couple low health bars on St. Clair College's side as well. Okay, so St. Clair's going to be forced to back up into the... Uh, into the circle itself, into the capture point. But while it did manage to find himself a pretty sick angle here, gonna just pop damage from right behind them, essentially. But John Quando with the Coalescence, gonna be able to take down one or two at this point. Overtime is ticking right now for Miami University of Ohio. So them, it looks like they're getting this fight so far, and they could possibly get their first point capture of the day if they could hang in there. And it looks like Jub Jub's just gonna jump off the point, but it doesn't matter considering there's a... Uh, Saints are actually going in on it. He thought that fight was over. Meanwhile, Jesse's coming with Coalescence, picking up two. Walla does go down, so that's a rather critical dps -er, but it does not matter. There's nobody left here for Miami University of Ohio on the point, so St. Clair College going to take the first game here in 2-0 fashion with Walla getting the play of the game. Let's see it. Fair enough. Between the Pulse Bomb and the follow-up, St. Clair going to be able to clean that fight up really quickly and essentially clean up that first uh, game overall pretty cleanly. St. Clair College looking really good to start off this match. Just a matter of figuring out where uh, Miami University of Ohio do wish to take game number two. And so that one was definitely a little bit rough there for the Miami University of Ohio. They would end up losing the very initial like point capture. They, I don't know if they just didn't have a Lucio or they didn't uh, didn't completely focus on getting onto the point. But by the time they would get there, Saints were already there. They were already set up. One or two people would get picked. We did see, especially in game number two, we had seen Thought get picked out a couple of times before the fight really even got started. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Jub Jub Walla doing tons of damage. Jussie, of course, on the Moira, was doing a ton of damage and healing, of course, as the character should. 
coalescence doing a bunch of work. And then the front line was just holding the ground extremely strong. Okay, so we do have the selection here for game number two. They do, in fact, choose King's Row. Okay, no, never mind. They, uh, they might be thinking twice about that one. Because I would definitely be surprised. We've seen King's Row a ton so far this season here in, uh, like, the St. Clair College matchups. Because it seems, overall, it's, uh... It's a favored map for them, in theory, or at least a uh, very well-practiced one, I should say. Okay, so it looks like St. Clair College going to be the first ones to defend. I feel like I say this every week, but they've definitely gotten their fair share of full holds on this initial point before the actual cart gets pushed out. Look forward to seeing what they can do here. Now, one thing that is also kind of interesting, compared to last week, we had seen uh, Walla playing a lot more... Uh, a lot more Tracer to today compared to past weeks. And there is no Reaper on St. Clair, which used to be essentially a must-pick for them before. But Miami University of Ohio going to actually find the first pick with Crypt going down. Jesse in the background has a pretty decent angle on everybody, trying to keep everybody topped off, but it looks like Demage and Couch are going to have to try and fall off, and Jesse is going to eventually go down, as he was the only healer left. Thought going to take him down there. And with this point getting contested, points are on the board here. It looks like going to get at least one tick, as the rest of the St. Clair College team do fall to Swagathon. But... Um, yeah, they're going to be able to get this first point without question. So no full hold today. Actually, solid job there from Miami University of Ohio. Getting that initial push to do some serious damage. Normally it takes the, takes the teams a few tries to get around that point. But making it work this time. Okay, jump, jump, diving in, trying to get a little bit of poke in there, but couldn't exactly find the opening. So at least that's getting shut down. That was actually a really good punch right there onto the Sigma. But we've got Swagathon jumping in. He does take down Couch pretty much instantly. Crypt's going to try and get everybody out of the way. They're pretty much point blank with the, the Miami squad. But Crypt's going to get himself actually a headshot onto... Uh, on Swagathon, take him down. That's a nano boosted Jub Jub. Let's see if we can get a shot on him. As he dives right into everybody. Meteor Strike coming up. Jesse does find the kill on the Sham Wow, so that's one big tanky boy out of the way. But Jub Jub gets a little bit of damage and is forced to evacuate. Oh, that could have been actually really cheeky there. I like what Walla did attempt there to get the dead eye as he was flung up, but he's going to find one totally right away upon switching to that McCree. Just that, that flashbang, that stun, just so good at catching Doomfist off guard. And it's going to force Miami University back under the arches. We do see sometimes, even though the team will get the initial capture, 
They tend to get stuck, but we do have a Meteor Strike going down. Coach tries to get an ult off, but I don't think it gets effective. That was a nice accretion. Going to stun up Swagathon, so at least the big dps -er with that. Uh, that Reaper is gone, but Win Toli does not care. He is tearing through the St. Clair line. Walla going to try and fight for his life here. Picked off Thought, but it is going to be the cart getting pushed right now for Miami University of Ohio. St. Clair forced to regroup. Cole Essence getting blasted off right away as we have the bongo coming in. The beat drop was unfortunately a little bit short to save Jub Jub. And that Reaper did get stopped right away as he used his Death Blossom. So that was gone. And that's a pretty good halt there from Demage pulling everybody off. But they were barely able to capture that second point. But Walla is going to be able to clean this up alongside the rest of the St. Clair squad, it looks like. Taking out Swagathon. And he's going to get sleep darted right as he dives in a nice shot from Jesse, making that Ana work for him. And while getting aggressive with this, just going all the way towards the spawn at this point. Around the corner, Jub Jub getting the kill onto Soy Boy Soup. That's going to be a forced Wraith Walk from the Reaper. And it's going to force them all back. Yeah, Quintoli going down. So they're just kind of trickling at this point. Just going to let St. Clair get a ton of extra time melted off the clock. Okay, we do have Jub Jub getting the nano boost from Jussie. Let's see if we can get the view here. We are right in the mix of things, but he's actually getting focused pretty decently from Miami University. But because of that, that actually let Walla go on a killing spree alongside Couch, getting the angles he wants. Nice shot onto Wintoli. Soy Boy Soup gonna be running for his life, but he's kinda far away from even the respawn point. I don't think he's going to be able to get out of this one. Jub Jub finishing that off rather quickly. So Miami University of Ohio were able to get to that second point. So for sure, no matter what, they've got two points on the board for their efforts here on attack at King's Row. Alt-wise now, we do have Deadeye, Sound Barrier, and the Gravitic Flux available. And Walla doesn't even need it. He's just going to pick off Wintoli before he even gets into the spot. Takes down Swagathon as well. Right now, Miami has absolutely no damage. And Walla just going to go on a tear until Soy Boy does manage to take him down. And then Demage does take down Thought. Jub Jub getting a kill as well onto Soy Boy. Getting a little bit of a revenge kill there. I like it. And we have so many alts on deck right now for St. Clair College that it's almost disgusting. And we're going to get the Meteor Strike to start things off alongside a Halt. But does it matter as Jub Jub jumps in? He gets completely smoked and focused down. Swagathon tries to flank, but again, the Sleep Dart from Jussie just shutting down these flank opportunities and Crypt getting on the kill board, finishing that one off. And Miami University of Ohio kind of stuck in this corner and it's going to be with totally again, the sleep darts from Jussie are just absolutely clutch and the purple on top of it and finishing the own kill. He may be a support player, but dang, does he ever know how to do some damage. It's going to be the Flux coming out from Couch. Let's see how he can do as he's essentially in the center of everybody. Slowly but surely trying to find his way out of here. Walla going to find Swagathon. Going to finally get punched away by the Doomfist, but he was pretty heavily shielded. So he's going to stay alive for now. Just he tries to get that Sleep Dart, but unfortunately not going to get that one. He can't get them all. Walla is point blank with these guys. McCree being a ranged character? Nah, let's just... Let's just duel them point blank, I suppose. But you can't duel the Reaper as uh, Swagathon going to get the better of him that time. Okay, a bit of a greedy teleport, but Crypt kind of got baited a little bit. He looked for the boop off the stage, but in the meantime ran right into a Meteor Strike. So this is finally going to allow Miami University of Ohio to get some distance with this card as we hit that 30 seconds mark. 20 seconds now, and they are going in alongside the Coalescence, but Walla taking down Wintoli. Couch getting Junkwon Do, but Demage is going to go down. 
before the kill happens. So slightly in the favor of St. Clair as we are just about to hit that overtime point. They are definitely contesting this. So even though the time goes down, this is not the end of the round. Just a matter if they can get them off the point for just a little bit. And with these halts could definitely do it. That was a heck of an accretion there from Couch actually picking off the, the Moira. We have the Gravitic Flux coming out. That's going to pick up a, quite a few. But it's going to be Couch actually going down first. But Jussie getting on the kill board. The Crypt going down. St. Clair kind of forced to give up some space here. Walla trying to snipe people off, but it does not seem to be effective. But you do have Jub Jub from behind. Can he make this Widowmaker switch work? Doesn't have to deal with this, the shields, but it doesn't matter. Went totally shutting that down. The Emergency Hammond coming out for St. Clair College. We are one meter away from, from Miami University of Ohio succeeding with the three cap, and they're going to get it. Last, like no, uh, no time on the board for them, but they are able to get the three cap here onto King's Row. Zero to three. Sides. So it was pretty solid there for St. Clair that they were able to stall them out so badly right at that second checkpoint. But of course, it's one. What a not so favorable fight. One tilted fight could definitely put you in a position you do not want to be. And Miami University of Ohio were definitely strong in terms of capitalizing on that. Yeah, so this is a pretty common setup that we're looking at right now for uh, St. Clair College in terms of their King's Row attack. They do enjoy doing some, some Metro Bastion stuff alongside um, Jesse on the, uh, the Baptiste, Crypts, or Kingdom Heart, which that's actually something I never had brought up. So Kingdom Heart was not able to get to this game today. So Crypt's coming in clutch. I think he's played pretty much all three roles this season for Saints Gaming when they did need it. So a quick little shout out to him as well. But yeah, so we're basically seeing... Yeah, we're, the Pharaoh kind of threw me off for a second. But we are going to see a teleporting bunker from St. Clair College. And we do have a quick pause here, it looks like, for Miami University of Ohio. Looks like a small little Discord failure on the side of uh, of Miami. So what you'll probably end up seeing is uh, for this attack, St. Clair do like to go on the left-hand side of the choke point. They'll get the, the Bastion into turret form. They'll plop the teleporter right on top of them, and then they'll take the high ground with it. And it's an actually completely absurd and annoying strat to try and deal with. Let's see if we can go alongside it. Here we go. And then boom, everybody is up on the high ground, which is just going to allow Jub Jub to just melt through anybody who exposes themselves. But actually, Miami University doing a pretty decent job so far. They actually took down Walla and Jussie with pretty quick, uh, quick effectiveness. They're going to teleport themselves back to safety because the the play didn't go as, as expected, so solid job there for the Miami University of Ohio. Gonna attempt it again, go right to the high ground once again, but they're going point blank with uh, with Swag's Reaper, which could have been bad, but this time they are going to be able to get Wintoli really quickly. Walla taking care of that. Thought going down as well. And with two of them down, the rest of the St. Clair squad are going to get the confidence to move on down. Wallow with this somewhat charged beam, because of course Metro does now uh, get additional damage the longer her beam's been on shields. And with this meta being pretty much double shield only, it's uh, it's pretty deadly. When Totally is going to try and contest them though, but St. Clair is on the point, and Couch going to finish off Soy Boy Soup, which means it's just the Doomfist left, but it does not matter because. Uh, it was not on the point, so St. Clair going to be able to take care of that. When Tolly is going to go down, Jussie once again getting some kills, making that Baptiste work for him. Let's keep it moving. 
Valkyrie as well as tank form. Ready to go here for St. Clair College with uh, couches. Gravitic Flux is also something we could probably see within the start of the next fight. Now, a not impossible, actually in a pretty uh, decent situation here for St. Clair, rather, is the fact that uh, they have so much time to try and complete this three cap, and they still will get even more time once they get to that second point. Now, they might be trying to go for a flanking... Uh, a flanking tank form rush here, and here it goes, and he has a uh, crypt right behind him, and the, that uh, Jean Kwan Do got blasted, and so did Swagathon, and let's see if he can manage to pick any more up. He's had crypt just damage boosting him this entire time. That's actually a May coming out from the side of Miami University. So it is going to finally go down, but it could have uh, threw a wrench into things for St. Clair, but it doesn't matter. They found their groove between Wallace switching over to that Hanzo to get some extra picks. And Jub Jub and Demay just uh, melting through everybody. We've got ourselves onto the second point with five minutes left on the clock. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> I never knew Bastion could sing Christmas carols, but this is hype. But <laughs> we've got uh, Miami coming in hot as we have the the May Wall. We've got the Gravitic Flux coming up. It's going to be a lifted up Jub Jub. He's wide open, but the uh, Invulnerability field from Baptiste was doing a pretty decent job until it does go down with Swagathon. Basically guaranteed play of the game at this point as he just got in a complete team wipe. Getting six kills in beautiful fashion. Never you know that Death Blossom got at least three and then he was able to clean up the other three slowly but surely throughout the rest of that fight. That being said, we're going to have about three ultimates on deck here for St. Clair College, including this Dragon Strike, which does not care at all about shields, and it's going to try and split everybody off. Can he deal with Swagathon? It's Looks like he's uh, going to be able to escape for now. Jub Jub going to find Wintoli, who, who's the one playing the May at this point. Waller going to try and find himself the high ground. He's going to... There we go. He does take down Swagathon. This is definitely a rough angle to try and have to defend if you are the Miami University of Ohio. But even with that angle, you still got to worry about the Bastion, who's just going to be tearing through. But Jub Jub actually was missing a lot of shots on the thought there, which was able to distract him long enough for Swagathon to dive in and start contesting some of this. Jub Jub going to get revived by Crypto. Crypt able to sneak that in there. He was pretty exposed, actually, so I'm surprised that worked out. But they're going to try and get him out of here. That's going to be a popped Valkyrie in a bit of a losing fight. They're going to try and turn this, even though they've still got plenty of time on the clock. Might be a little bit overzealous, unless he can go for the hero play. I don't think they noticed this. Okay, one of them does. Yeah, okay, they do. That, that would have been cute. That would have been cute. I mean, the Valk was already popped, so even though it was a bit of a worst-case scenario, try to make something happen with it. Three minutes left on the clock here for St. Clair College to get the complete three cap. So all the way to the end here is where they need to go. And we do have, I think that's a Reaper coming up from Walla now up on the, no, oh, that's Jub Jub who's gonna be on the Reaper. And if they don't see this coming, this could hurt real bad. And you only have one fight to try and deal with this. When totally tries to change direction, but it does not matter. Being point blank with Reaper is absolutely devastating, but we got Reaper on Reaper action. It's a matter of, can he get to his team in time? He is going to be able to get healed. But a pretty back and forth fight. We do have the Death Blossom taken down too. But Walla is going to eventually take him down. But Miami comboing the Death Blossom alongside their uh, the Gravitic Flux is able to wipe St. Clair right on this corner once again. Now we had seen St. Clair do pretty good at like stalling them out right here at the second point. But right now Miami University making this this little S right here, right before the end game or the end goal, worked in their favor. Even though they're in a pretty defensive posture actually. Okay, when totally charging up, but he's I think he could may have gotten denied a little bit by the halt. At least the rest of his team did. We do have coalescence coming down. Walla gonna finish off Swagathon, so the big Flank DPS threat is gone. We have Gravitic Flux. That's a good sound barrier, but we still have Deadeye. He does get one and plus a bunch of extra damage. And it looks like St. Clair 
after all of that, should be able to clean this up. A nice little combo of ultimates is going to do the trick here for St. Clair College. Now they do manage to get this tied up at three, but it's only a minute 18, so technically they only have eight, or I guess they have, uh, excuse me. That's probably like two or three pushes, if you really think about it. So that's not too bad, I would say, for Miami University of Ohio. Yeah, so in this situation, situation, since Miami University of Ohio were in overtime when they ran out of time, they will not get the opportunity to attack again. So they have to full hold or bust here. So that's going to be essentially what this game is relying on. Yeah, they complete the full hold. This does just end up in a, a draw, I do believe. But if St. Clair do manage to get to the... I think it's a full cap. Oh, no, they only need the first tick of it, actually. So they only need the one tick to win this best of three. They do spot out the Doomfist, and that was actually a pretty good shot from Walla. That chunked him pretty badly. They're going to use the late teleport, actually, and go up to the high ground a little bit closer to the site. It's going to allow Jub Jub to just start opening fire on anybody who decides to contest that point. Couch is going to go down to try and start picking some uh, picking some percent on that thing. And that's actually a sick angle right now for Jub Jub as long as he doesn't get flanked by somebody. And it looks like St. Clair is doing a good job of keeping the flank DPS away. And they have the teleport already, if necessary as well, to go to the high ground once again. Swagathon going down. Jub Jub managing to take him down in... Uh, in recon mode and there we go he finds the angle he's looking for he's got access to pretty much everybody he's going to back up temporarily we've got the the batib stalt just the tie the we'll put the, the the cherry on top essentially and st Clair going to be able to pull off the 2-0 in their match here versus the miami university of ohio i'll give miami university credit though they definitely definitely improved compared to game number one it was a much much closer battle and then this swagathon was absolutely sick right on the card death blossom and just able to get the follow-up raid after taking down everybody on st Clair. at least getting the finishing blow on everybody so that is pretty awesome well played to them 